Dead Poet Society where Robin Williams jumps up on top of the desk and he and he's starting he tells the kids to start ripping chapters out of the book and Captain My Captain and all this all this big stuff. And while he's up on top of the desk, whose attention does he have? He's got every kid in that class's attention, right? Fully on him, listening to what he's saying, doing what he's saying, right? They're they're a little concerned and they're fully paying attention. What a lot of educators take from that is if I want my kids' attention, I need to do something zany, right? That's not the lesson because it turns out that zany thing that he was doing was fully connected to the whole premise of the story that we're going to do things differently. We're going to, we're not going to do exactly what everyone has always told us to do and what we've always done before. We're going to do it in an unconventional ways. And we're going to dissect text in a way that you've never understood it before. And you're going to fall in love with this stuff. And it's going to be incredible. It wasn't about just getting people's attention. It was about prepping folks for this amazing outside, off the cuff type of learning and experience that everybody was about to have. And I think that's the hidden lesson in that piece. And it is so often overlooked by fans of the movie. Yeah. That it's not you. So when you lead a, a staff meeting, this comes back to the whole idea of mm. uh, icebreakers. You're leading a faculty meeting or a team meeting. You don't want to just do a zany icebreaker just to do a zany icebreaker. You want to do something that preps folks for what they're about to learn. And if you're going to try to hook kids into a lesson, you're not just going to ask a, a crazy zany question that gets the kids like, oh, that's weird. I never thought of that before. You're going to ask them a crazy zany question about the content you're about to explore so that it leads them into the learning. And I, I just, I have fallen in love with that idea Mm -hmm. uh, because I've been through many, as you all have, many icebreakers, and I've even I have nothing to do with it. Yeah, oh, the and balloon read, pops and everything else. Oh, I'm so oh, over okay. it. Yeah. I've and I've led and some of those yeah. back in the day. It was like, well, you got to have an icebreaker. I'm like, yeah. all right. So, what kind of weird stuff do we have around that we can do it? Like, exactly. <laughs> and if I remember that that film correctly, and I could be wrong, I believe what he then went on to talk about when the kids were up on their desks was what does the classroom look like from up here? What's the different perspective you have? Do you, Can you look at things differently now? And all of a sudden they're looking at this classroom in a completely different light. And so you're right. You know, yeah. If my memory is correct, that's what he then led on to as the lesson. Yeah, that was the whole thing. Yeah, thanks all for right. letting me share it. Well